Hey everyone, my name is Cowboy and welcome back to my channel where I do deep dives and reactions to things that I love and if you want to know more about me, I would watch my shooting star reaction deep dive video where I talk a whole lot about my background and what I'm trying to do with this channel which is kind of like compile everything I know about watching XG and, and all of the reactions surrounding their content and trying to bring something more to the table for people wanting to learn more about these music videos. So just something different from the usual reaction stuff. So today I'm going to do left right which is of course their possibly their second best song and be just before i go jump into the video i just want to say i'm kind of amazed that this came out so soon after shooting star which was already kind of like a mind-blowing comeback january last year and then the performance video for left right came out giving us a little taste of how good the r&b was gonna be and then the music video came out and it was just mm, chef's kiss just r&b perfection so i'm not gonna make this intro any longer than it absolutely has to and i'm gonna go right into the music Obviously, I'm going to pull up my notes and let's get started on left, right. So first of all, yeah, pause warning, obviously. Um, I really like their use of the kind of like retro CG graphics, CG graphics, redundant, computer graphics, um, obviously making use of something like Star Trek's uh, Enterprise, where there's a saucer part of the spaceship, and conveniently, it doubles as their dancing space later on in the video, so that's really cool. I also want to point out the really cool typography that they made specifically just for this video, and, you know, really 2000s retro euro stylish um type font and nice little detail here that i learned from another reactor there's seven dots here in the left right logo one two three four five six seven obviously seven members really nice attention to detail of course as befitting of xg i love this opening move especially when the when the dance starts with harvey Ping up from the floor and then going right into the turning move and she's just so consistently turning very smoothly in the choreography that's really cool that's that's a really nice move also just saying hi and bye see you later okay so before i react to this particular scene I really love that a lot of these shots in the music video come with this like retro, more kind of retro-y graphics on the sides, on the borders. It comes, it like at the starting shot, it, it frames the shot as a kind of zoom in into the group right there. And then they use it a lot in the rest of the video to kind of frame the action. Another cool detail in addition to their kind of retro clothes all of all of the jewelry that they're wearing uh, the rings and the earrings here on chisa and like even the the pom-poms on this uh, hat the, the fuzzy hat that jurin is wearing they're all spheres kind of i guess kind of like early hints at the whole alien concept where spheres globe they're coming to earth on the spaceship really really nice attention to detail also the color blocking and in Jurin and Chisa's scenes, yellow and blue, and then Chisa's eyeshadow, like yellow with a blue like um, eyeliner. Who does that? That's so sick. Anyway. I got what you need. Like we don't follow anything. Love the retro oh, kind of spyish right, vibe of their costumes. I'm in the outfits. Right, Okay, so this shot, when it came up, like you were so ready to, to think about the whole video is kind of like this retro thing. And then they come up in this super, oh, they, God, they just look so good in these fits. The, of course, the kind of like, um, what do you call these? The, what do you call these tops? Oh my gosh, the, the, the rash guards with the, with the thumb holes. And then so, sewn into like the Calvin Klein underwear, and then right into the classic Marie Francois Gerbeau pants. God, if you if you grew up in the '90s, these pants are are like variations of the super baggy like elephant style pants. So sick. And then everybody is just like everybody with their with their hair down, and it's just kind of, it's, it's such a look. 
it's such a look for everybody and then it's it's their first shot at also like the do, doing these uniform uh group outfits which is going to play a really cool part later on and in the rest of the video and like in performances later on and also like the high top air force ones mm, their styling so good also really nice adding text to the borders of the uh of the frame here to also offset the fact that the aspect ratio changes when they go into these shots with with the group also really nice background color lastly and i wanted kind of wanted to match my light with a purple in this shot I, I really love this scene. I really love these outfits. Everybody looks so damn good. Kokona with her hair. Why did they let Kokona have her hair down more? That's all I'm saying. Big bird hands. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna get to this shot because this is my second favorite shot of Hexi. I love, I fucking love their hero shots where it's all a group and it's all like showcase of them in the position that's just so badass. Before that, I was talking about Star Trek earlier. In the earlier shot, um, this UI over here, which shows the, obviously the saucer of the, sp the spaceship, kind of like the colors and the shapes uh, is another throwback to Star Trek, the L cars operating system. And that also that font in the next shot, um, this font also kind of looks like um, something from that system as well. But let's talk about these fits, the bucket hats, man. When I when I first saw Left Right, I immediately bought um, a Supreme bucket hat, and then I messaged. I, I left a comment on Kokona's Kukon, uh, blog and in, in the Alpha's app, and I told her, "You made I just thanks to you, you guys, um, the stylings of you guys. I, I went out and bought a bucket hat. Can you make any more recommendations?" And she liked it. That was pretty cool. But these bucket hats. And just the look, and then the um, everybody's just the uniform with the brown vest. Who wears a brown vest, brown puffy vest anymore? Also, first appearance, they change our underwear from the Calvin Klein um, branded ones. They now are wearing boxer shorts that say LT and RT on, on the are on the waist. Um, but it's 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 from audience perspective, right? The LT is on the left side. Of, of us looking at them and the RT is on the right side where it, it, it's actually on the left part of their waist but really cool shot I was I was mentioning the like Paramount Pictures stars logo and shooting star in in the last one now they have these texts um, these these uh, messages moving around them really cool and, and this this just moved it's just like the hip thr the hip bends also in the choreography and it just just a swagger. Look at everybody's face. Look at Tinata. Look at Amy in the background. And then um, when they do the, the head tilt, it's all in sync. It's it's like a taste of how good they are, how how synchronized they are. And and then Jur I want to close this out with Jurin's face. She makes like a, the duck lips at the end. Mmm, Jurin. Girl. <laughs> yeah. So before I go to the pre-chorus, um, this futuristic corridor shot, that is, a lot of people know, uh, point out that it's kind of like a 90s, 2000s thing with a corridor with a fisheye lens. This is like the Hype Williams. He's, that's the name of the director, the Hype Williams special. And a lot of the most iconic music videos from that time, Mo Money, Mo Problems with Puff Daddy and Mace. Um, what's it going to be? Uh, and um oh, sorry not what what it's what's it going to be um a lot of missy elliott videos and um no scrubs even uses the style it it became kind of like a signature of hype williams with the fish eye lens and like the corridor with the dolly zooms and stuff and like the hyper futuristic um look and speaking of um like, like futuristic i love like the whole concept of this video is is all about like retro futurism it's like how the the vision of of the future and like computer graphics looked like back in the 2000s so there's a lot of at the time a lot of videos at the time trying to capture like like this aesthetic uh com what comes to mind uh, michael jackson and janet jackson's video um scream 
it had a, it also took place on a spaceship. It was really cool. No scrubs, of course. TLC, big inspiration for the girls. Um, what's it? And w- what I was getting confused. What's it going to be by Busta Rhymes and um, Janet Jackson again? It's all this really cool period time uh, moment in time computer graphics that were very early on in computer graphics, and it was this whole aesthetic for the two thousands. They love it, and XC just captured it perfectly in this music video. Yeah, so Hype Williams, Fish Islands. Check out those videos if you want to see more in the style. But you know, X she pulls it off. I really love the the way they look at the Fish Islands. Curious oh, voice. I love in the chorus. There are these bells that join in in the background. That is so nostalgic to me. It goes the, um, um, I'll point it out when I hear it. Oh, that's such a nostalgic sound to me. There's the fish islands. Also, I think it, also, I think it was um, Desi March who pointed out who's, who has rapped about Pirelli's, which are the wheels they use for Formula One cars. I don't know if they still do. But they were these really, they're these really fat tires that they use for race cars. Who raps about Pirelli tires anymore? <laughs> oh my God, XG. And yeah, uh, more shots of them in the fish eye angle. And even their haircuts here are kind of like um, Chisa's in this Hime cut with a really like Japanese style bow in the back. And everybody's just, oh God, I, I love this look. And now they're dancing in the saucer part of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Choreo is so sick. The bells. Also, um, oh god, I love, I love this Kokona's hero shots. I swear, it's also nice that, the, um, and since Pirelli is a brand, when they were performing left right on the music shows, they would change it to four wheelies instead of Pirelli's. I don't know, just to avoid, like, you know how Korean TV is with brands. They're not allowed to mention, like, the actual, they have to cover brand logos, like like a Nike logo they would put um, on variety shows. They would put, like, tape on it to cover it. I don't know, there's this weird thing about brands and, and Korean TV, but, yeah, they change it to four wheelies in the live performance. And, again, um, Kokona's, like, really retro makeup and, like, the really nice uh, hair. And, again, the spheres um, in the in the... In the earrings and again the retro borders and the sides really cool So what, while that's done, it's really nice that oh, look at that his eyes, the orange Walkman. It's it's nice that there's more duality. I talk about duality a lot in the Shooting Star video, but the duality in this video where they go from this like very light, carefree, especially later on in the video where they're all smiles and they're all having fun, and then it switches to them in the in the uniforms, and then it's all super straight face. It's like eh, having fun, having fun, and like hmm. Do the move, serious, don't see my eyes. All robotic, alien-like. And again, more of the duality of XG, man. It's just respect. It's a really nice directing choice also to have that contrast between them having fun in, like, in the colorful outfits and then into the stark uniform looks and then performing like a super serious move and, or like a, unif- um, a uniform move where they all do it syn- uh, to show off their synchronization. Really, really cool detail. So do it till you get right, get it one more. Mm. No, you can't deny it. Baby, don't you hide it? Oops. I like it, I bite it. So just tell me if you are worth it. Do you really want to know? I've been in reverse, singing real. <laughs> I, I'm going to repeat this part a few times because, number one, I love that, that, that cool sound. And also, obviously, the editing where they slow down the, the, the group of four. Slow down and then the pop in of the corridor again and then the group of three. 
in <laughs> Harvey's face. And then when they pop in, they do an additional pop after it. So you see Harvey there in the back. Pull up, pull up. Uh, Harvey goes like that. One more. And then they, the, similar to how they did the speed ramps, it's oh, not the speed ramps, the, they're cutting the frames to make it snappier in the in the formation part in, in Shooting Star. They do the same here with Kokona's line so that she goes to, she kind of has an extra pop a little bit more. And again, more of the lyrics in her color, the lime green, in the apple green color, of course, which is the which is the color of her outfit as well. The apple green color in the, in the lyrics and the top and the bottom. And okay, one last time to show off like Harvey and Julia just hold up, pull up, uh, going into that into that move. So snappy. Okay, so probably only Filipinos and people who watch like Filipino reaction videos would get this part. But this shot and this sound, I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something in this part where I am hearing the wish bus, like the radio catch sound playing over this shot. So just as an example. Wish 107.5. That's, that's all I remember from that part. I also just want to point out that whenever she, she does it also at the very start, um, in the this this mobbin like you don't follow anything. Whenever Julia makes a serious face, it's so cute to me. Like she, it, like she's so cute. Our little Risu. Um, she she makes such a such a cute serious face, but you know, like underneath, you just want kind of want to giggle. So I just want to go back to that part. Right, get it on the floor. I wanna see you left right then. Julia, serious face. Don't ask me. Serious, Julia. And I love how the, like I mentioned at the start, the aspect ratio when it moves to the scene, it it they, the the. Uh, the black bars come at the top and the bottom very slowly, making the, sh the these shots a little bit more cinematic. Um, I'll, let's just show that again. Oh, so cinematic, especially with their formation. Kikuna right smiling. Kikuna smile. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, I'm dead. I am dead. Ah, there. See, that cut from them, from their formation and their smiles, and they're just kind of having a good time. Right into the super serious elbow move. <laughs> so good god dang it they're so damn good that contrast and then into the long zoom to show the formation and into the into the ballet move so it took me a while to figure out what was written in these um in these words that are floating around them i believe it says here now only matters so I've been trying to figure out if that's it's if that's coming from the lyrics or from somewhere else, but yeah, I believe it's here now only matters. If anybody knows what that means, let me know. So come get it. You know that I'll be there for you. Oh, look at Tarby in the back. I look at Kakoda. God, they're so swaggy. Baby, are you down down? Are you down down? So I saw the behind the scenes. This is actually just one chair that they edited so that it shows like all of them. So I think it's kind of like a callback or, or like a reference to, you know, how when in, in the space stories or in, the, in science fiction, the protagonists would always go into cryogenic sleep to, to make a long travel. So obviously, actually, you're coming to Earth from the original planet 
puppet show the planet in the puppet show planet and you have to go into cryogenic sleep to to help them you know survive the journey and it's just such a nice detail look at this shot with the light behind them that is just so cool yeah only Harvey and Coco not wearing hats in this uh, in this scene. Okay, I wanted to let Julia finish first, but this shot um, with the spaceship detailing in the background and just showing all seven of them going into their cryo sleep. When I first saw this. I don't know why, but this shot kind of made me sad because this was, you know, this was just XG's fourth song at the time. And then it was like, it's it's them going to sleep. And then it felt to me like they were going away and going away forever. And I don't know where I'm getting that, like getting that sentiment, but it just kind of made me really sad. This shot makes, every time I see the shot, I just remember how sad it made me feel like, I have to say goodbye to Exy after just all that fun that we just had after seeing Shooting Star, after seeing Left, Right, and they're going to go to sleep and, you know, who knows when they're going to come back again. And uh, and then it it's, just makes me so sad. But the shot itself, the composition showing all seven of them, even if it's the same seat, really nice editing and the adding the model details in the back. That is just so sick. Of course, the infamous kick edit with Jared popping up. Oh, I find this out in the Shooting Star video. At the very end, Harvey does like a, like a salute move like that. And now Chisa takes it in left, right. I love this. I love these shots, by the way. I didn't realize... Um, Early on, that there were stripes underneath the the bucket hats, but it's really clear here. And then Maya goes into like into the into the screen, and there, there it is. Chisa does the salute that Harvey does in Shooting Star. Continuity, attention to detail, top tier. I swear to God. It's so funny. I think it was just Bake Reacts who pointed out that <laughs> girls can't high five for shit. And then it's like every time now that I see them doing the high fives in left, right in the performances, I try and see if they make contact or if it's like a proper dude high five. I just find that so funny. But look at them. Look at Hinata, man. <laughs> whimsy, whimsy laugh. Smile, smile, happy, happy. Serious. Uh, jury, in, jury in the front. Serious Risu face. I want to see Risu face again. Uh, look at Juria. That's just so serious. And then Hinata breaking character in the back. He's the only one smiling. Hinata. Not following. Serious Juria face. And I mentioned this in the Shooting Star video. This is the first time again seeing credits in at the end of a music video in, in K-pop. I mean, who has done this? But it's really nice because we get to see like the whole production team behind it. Um, Jinuya Mix obviously is the one who, who produced the video and created the video, the concept for it. And then this is where we start to get a glimpse that um, Shanna Lao Lao from the lab and KL Tutin are the ones who are who will be who will become a big part of the choreography of XG, and just for no reason at all. Why not an XG logo in the same font and in the same design as the as the one they made at the start of the video? That's so sick. I mean, that's just extra stuff that we didn't ask for. We don't deserve. And yet we get because that's just how X rolls. And I love how at the end of left right they always go to the back with nowhere else to go. <laughs> and then that's the they always they always get trapped at the end of the video or at the end of the performance. So yeah. 
So that was XG with Left Right. I'm not going to belabor this video for much longer. I just want to say Left Right is probably my second favorite song and definitely my favorite performance. The perform I'm probably going to do a reaction for that performance because not enough people have seen it. It's so iconic with the bucket hat and the green gloves and that is permanently saved on my phone. It just shows them, especially they're not wearing anything restrictive and they're all in their like dance clothes with the backy pants and rubber shoes and it's just a good showcase of their though this one this one this video here um right here i'm oh, sorry i'm not i'm not showing it but it's it's a preview of that mnet performance what a showcase of the song and their choreography that performance is and just part of that that's part of the reason why left right is number two for me anyway if you like my deep dive i want to keep doing these for the rest of my xv journey i'm probably going to go in the order of how i fell in love with their music or how i got introduced with their music and then interject it with some new stuff maybe and some of the performances not a lot of people react to and yeah i hope you liked it if you like this video please share it with other alphas i would love to hear more from you if i missed anything from the video i'm probably as much as as i talk i probably still miss a bunch of a bunch of things so i would love to hear from you guys in the comments and yeah talk to me let's have a conversation let's share more knowledge with the alphas more lore and i'll see you again in the next video peace Oh, <laughs>